All right, thank you so much for staying with us. And of course, your patience all through the hours we were on the personal finance segment is really appreciated. But right now we are on the star corner and um, we have with us a young man here. He goes by the name Matthew and I would want him to pronounce that name by himself so <laughs> I don't get to assassinate it. He is a music artist, by the way. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Yeah, so name is Matteo. Matteo. Yeah. All right. Matthew. So, so how how did you come about that name? Where's the derivation coming from? Um, that would be tra a Spanish translation of Matthew. My name is actually Matthew. So, oh really? Yeah. So Matthew. Matthew in Spanish is Matthew. Do you speak Spanish? Not exactly. But I know the basics. <laughs> you know the basics. Yes. So, so how did you how did you go about picking that translation from from Spain? Um, I, I love Spanish actually, but I don't know how to speak. So I was just scrolling to um, the web one day and I just saw Matteo. I was like, I was curious to know what Matteo was all about. So I just checked in him and I saw Matthew. I was like, I can use this for my... Wow, so such just, a coincidence. So yeah, you were just looking like through and you saw that yeah. name and somehow it connected with yours. Yeah. You must be a blessed guy. <laughs> I'm blessed. So and tell us more about your music art history. How long have you been into this? Uh, music for me, I think seven years now. I started singing um, studio officially in mm. 2016. So professionally, you got started in 2016? Yeah, 2016. Mm. I got what, 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 what's, what's your genre? Um, I do Afrobeat actually. But <clears throat> like everybody has Afro swing and Afro everything. But I would just stay so on what's your Afrobeat. Niche? Your niche is Afrobeat? Yeah, Afrobeat. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, have you done any releases thus far? Yeah, I have a couple of releases. Mm. And the latest one will be Kiss and Tell by... Kiss and Tell? Yeah. Mm. Kiss and Tell by myself and King K, then produced by Boy Sounds. So What's the idea behind Kiss and Tell? Um, Kiss and Tell is about a guy and an unfaithful girlfriend. It's always, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's always the case. It's always the case. A guy and a lady. Yeah. So tell us more about that. The unfaithful girlfriend, yeah, she's all, she's uh, um she's doing the old I don't want to be in um the having the old um let me, let me just use the word S E X in the context. But she, meanwhile she's giving another guy outside and she's describing her boyfriend, a so called boyfriend of the whole thing. So and when he finally found out that, okay, there was somebody at the background that was causing this whole thing, he inside, okay, mm. I can't do this, kiss and tell. So kiss he and actually, tell. she's actually kissing and not telling. So he now found out that, okay, this is what she was doing. So mm. that was the whole I hope we'll have that song idea. playing at the background so that the audience <laughs> can get to feel it. So how has been the response so far in he, terms of that particular song, the channel? Uh, kiss and tell hasn't gotten much um, review have because you, I didn't... Have you released it? I've released it. I released in um, October 19, 2023. That was last year. Okay. But I didn't. I didn't promote the song actually. That was my first official single. Mm. I didn't promote it because of um, finance and all of that. But this year, by the grace of God, we are pushing, pushing harder, and going nice. on for every nice. other thing. Nice, nice. So, um, so far, so good. How has been the industry for you in terms of your rating? Mm, I would say good and progressing in what area is it the supportive system you've got what area yeah you say good? um myself and um producers fan base too mm. because a couple of places i've gone to um play my song i have another song jai that i don't even know if people know the song so like last year there was a show i went for and the response i got from fans i was surprised because i never knew people even um vibe to the song so that's just it. I like your ball berry, by the way. Thank you. But your much. audience would have loved to see your eyes. Okay. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> All right. That, that's on the lighter note, anyway. Talk to us about um, the gigs you've had. You know, you, do you talked about events you've attended. Yeah. You know, what kind of event were they? How were you received? And of course, yeah, the, the, the profitable side about it, too. Okay. I've yeah. gone to concerts with um, Ellie, Korichi. Boy Sounds to include it, mm. music producer, and some underdog um, club shoes. Let me see club tours mm. in Abuja. So that's just the basics I've done for now. Mm. Then um, financially, if that's profiting me, mm. I'll say it's still based on promotion, actually. It's still based on promotion. So most of those shows have actually pushed me out the more. 
than when I started. So, so it's just like a window of exposure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's just it. So do you have any projects you're working on currently you'd like to share with us? Yeah, I do. I'm, I'll be dropping an EP in um, July of this year. I'll be dropping an EP in July. And I'll be releasing the first single in March. And that's be titled um, Ordinary Water. Mm. So, do you have any major artists you're going to be featuring? Major artists. I won't say major artists, but uh, everybody is major. Mm. So there's no not being biased. So I have a couple of people like uh, LA to be on the on the project, Korea okay. to be on the project. Uh, there's a couple of guys to that. It's, it's, it's going to be a very intriguing project. But I believe so. I still have just my let me see my main guys for now, just to push that window. That's get, just use that um, window I've gotten. Mm -hmm to express myself a little bit, so that's just it. All right, so talk to us about the industry at large. How, are, you know, in terms of acceptability in, in that particular space, how have you gotten it? Has it been for you thus far? It has, been, it has been wonderful. It has been wonderful, I won't lie, because I'm not where I want to be yet, but mm -hmm. I'm not where I was yesterday, because it, there's a lot of challenges many artists are facing, not just myself. And it's not easy being a young independent artist trying to push yourself and all of that. You have so many challenges that you even face that no one knows because people won't know the work you're doing in the background. Like um, I said in one of my songs, they, they won't see they won't see the work you're doing. They only want to know your success. They mm. just want to see success. But the work you're doing at the background, nobody knows it. So of course, no one needs that, to know about the pain. It's that's about just the, 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 the glory they want to see. But then, um, are you signed to any record label? For now, not officially. Okay, so what's your perspective about record label? Um, in Nigeria here, mm. I don't think most most record labels actually they don't they don't they don't they, they try to eat off of young artists really? basically here. Yeah. In what area? Is there no contract? Yeah, there are there are contracts, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, those that those that um, sign the contracts, many people sign the contract of um, pressure or maybe peer influence or, or peer pressure because you see your guys going forward and you feel like okay any opportunity to get like i got an opportunity in um 2017 in abuja okay. with, a, with a label that i won't mention and they were offering to pay me like four hundred thousand and give Is me a monthly uh, not, not monthly okay. four hundred thousand um like an allowance four hundred thousand allowance then they'll pay me also five million naira for for like four years contract i was like sorry I'm not doing that shit, bro. Why? That's that's is is not is not going to favor me at the long at the longer run because at the end of the day I will have to go for shows, do many promos, they use my name, my brand and all of that. And what I will give out is more than what I'm giving is more than what what I'm more but, than but, what I'm But receiving. don't you think it's an opportunity beyond the money? Yes, money is also involved, but beyond the money, don't you think that it's an opportunity for you to build your brand, perhaps? Maybe with a known brand of that nature, don't you think it's also? If it was a known brand, if it was a known too? brand, it would have been a better thing. But this brand is also trying to start up. Okay. So assuming they even give like, okay, let's go on percentage, and we have like a fifty percent cut or something, mm. or sixty forty, and that would have been more reasonable. But mm. now wanting to pay me off, and I know it's more because I know at the longer run I will deliver more. Okay. Than what they are giving me, so that was why I didn't take it. Okay. So, which of those artists you think, aside from LA you mentioned, which other artists would you think is worthy of being, you know, on your project? Especially those who inspire you. Uh, for now, um, there are a lot of people who, there are a lot of artists actually. So, I don't think, mentioning like on, a <laughs> on a scale of one to five, yeah. who makes one to three list, one to number three position? Like an early status, yes, or? yes, an established one. Okay, what? that you look up to. That in fact, <laughs> you will do anything to have that artist <laughs> on your project. I would say Bonner Boy, Bonner Boy, yeah, on Bonner the number Boy. one spot. Yeah, how about number two? Bonner Boy, Rema, number two. Yeah, okay, number three. Then Ashake, Ashake. Yeah, so if you were to choose between those three, which would you go for first? I'll go for Bonner Boy. Why Bonner Boy? Because he's, he has a lot of influence on my music, especially the kind of music I'm, the pattern of music I'm doing now. Mm. Bonaboy has a lot of influence on it because I, I chose to go for um, the live kind of music, adding live fusion to my music. Oh, live performance. Yes, to make it, 
to make it um to give you that more African vibe mm. because many people are training with the African culture you know and giving them live performances will actually bring music itself because music has a feel and if the feel is not there the music is is lost true true so and feel um, very unfortunate just a few artists do live performances yeah, just a yeah. few handful yeah but then before we let you go it's the culture here for us to have an artist in the star corner give us a little bit of his vibe perhaps through a freestyle so would you want such yeah sure all right so go ahead okay <clears throat> Should I go without an You do your or? song or any other artist song, okay, but we prefer song, yours. Song. Okay. All right. What song do you want to do for by the way? Uh, the song. The song is um. Madupe. Madupe. Yeah, I'll say. Okay. Why I said Madupe is a love song, actually, because it's season of love. Okay. So. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Madupe <clears> oh. <throat> Madupe oh. Baby, no one is perfect. I found love in your soul and it's priceless. Girl, if you're willing to be loved, then you want it. Willing to be loved on a hundred. And nobody else will be to light your face. Your body, body, make a man confess. One joe, one joe, one joe. African chocolate, put that ring on your finger. Me, I have to pull it that chica. Be the one to call you my nigga. My jiga, jiga, yeah. Put that ring on your finger. For you, I feel to pull it that trigger. Be the one to call you my jigger. My nigga, nigga, yeah. Baby, could I sell on me? You be my harmony. You be my felony. You want him my felony. Baby, could I sell on me? You be my harmony. Could I let sell on me? All right, thank you so much. Thank you so me. much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <coughs> I appreciate it. But then again, you didn't do the Spanish version. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, yeah. Mateo, for coming on the show. Please, uh, our audience would want to follow you up. Um, okay. You can give us your handle. Um, on IG is uh, Mateo Official. That's M E underscore Official. M E T O Official. At X M E underscore T O Official. Same thing. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, Go follow fun. him and also show him love. He needs your love. And of course, 100%. stream his songs and um, help him grow his career. That's what he needs at this time. Thank you so much, Matthew. Thank you very much. Show. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. The show continues shortly after this time. Please don't go nowhere. <laughs>